last night was hectic. <laughs> As a matter of fact, last night was one of the most emotional nights for me this entire New Lose Guard season. And in a way, I kind of expected it. I think I even mentioned it on one of my videos that <laughs> the day Anita will find out Tofa's real age, that day, <laughs> it's gonna take all the grace and you know comportment in her to keep her cool because that was exactly what happened last night now it's not like i blame tofa 100 percent but at the same time i just could not help but blame him because <laughs> guys watching everything play out on tv you could just see their weeks of trust in each other crumble just seemed like everything just crumbled. Everything just really, really crumbled. Watching both of them cry, that was really heartbreaking. And I felt, I felt like crying too, <laughs> but I did not cry. But I really felt like crying too. I, I, I felt like I could feel what both of them were feeling in their separate spaces. You know, that feeling of betrayal, that feeling of distrust, that feeling of shock. I felt it. But let's get into this video. Let's get into this video and talk about it all in details, all right? Um, because there are certain things that also, you know, was happening last night that I noticed that I thought I should mention as well. So let's get into this video. I will spill all of that tea and I urge you all to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You're welcome to my channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. And uh, yeah, before we get right into it, you are all specially welcome to my channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the T. Guys, just a quick reminder that today by 3 p.m. WAT, we're going to be converging here for our Saturday YouTube live stream. I look forward to having a conversation with all of you because there is a lot to unpack. There's a lot to dissect. There's a lot to analyze. And I cannot wait to engage your mind. So please make sure you come through. Make a date with us. Do not miss out. There is a lot you surely do not want to miss out on. All right. And um, guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Please like this video. All right. It is an indication that you enjoy my content and you enjoy being a part of this community. All right. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do not forget to do that, all right? Now, quickly, let's just dive right into the details of this video. So, I've been waiting for this moment since Thursday, yes. Thursday, because Tofa had had um, a short diary session with Big Brother. Okay, it wasn't particularly short, to be frank with all of you, yeah. More like a follow-up diary session on Thursday, because they already had their diary session Wednesday and Tuesday already, yeah. So, um, because the house was boring, Big Brother decided to do some catch-up with um, all the housemates. And so Toffa had his on Thursday and it was quite obvious that this young man was heavily burdened. His heart was full. He had a lot to say. And that was where he had mentioned to Big Brother that he was tired of, you know, hoarding that secret about his age. And he felt like it was high time to tell Anita the truth that he has, you know, analyzed his situation with her and he has come to the realization that he truly cares for her. He truly cares about her. He really likes her. You know, like he loves this girl. <laughs> I don't know if he's lying or not, but he really cares about this girl. And he cannot even imagine how it would feel for her to find out later that he actually lied about his age. So he had told Big Brother that on Friday, after their wager presentation, he was going to spill the truth to her. And um, Big Brother had asked him some follow-up questions about why he did not tell her before then. And he had explained that, you know, he truly likes her and it was just that feeling of um, the fear of losing her. Hence the reason he did not want to tell her. So Big Brother had asked why he did not tell her that day, Thursday. And he had explained that Anita is a very focused person. And at the moment, they are all working towards winning this wager. You know, so there's a lot at stake. So he doesn't want a situation where he goes to tell her and it spoils the mood. It completely affects their presentation performance. So he wouldn't want that to happen. So he would wait for all the workload to be out of the way and then they would have a proper conversation about it. And that was exactly what he did. So sadly, they had lost their wager for reasons best known to Big Brother. They had lost their wager yesterday and 
yesterday seemed like a really good day between those two people. Also considering the fact that a um, few days ago, they had had a serious fallout where Anita had been really upset about the fact that Tofa had not given her the much needed attention that she actually was expecting him to give right she had felt lonely and she had been upset that Tofa, instead of coming looking for her in the house had been having a pleasant conversation with the boys so that had really pissed her off and for two days it had given him the silent treatment even though he had gone to meet her several times to find out what was going on yes but then he had begged her he had pleaded with her he had apologized and they had made up they had kissed and made up and had come back together much more stronger than ever <laughs> guys look at the build up of this whole thing they had come back together stronger than ever in the sense that anita started pampering tofa showering him with so much love and care their pdas increased i mean you could tell that anita could not keep her hands off him and you see, in the midst of all of this, right, you could tell that Tofa was burning with anxiety. He was burning with worry because here is this girl that he truly likes. And there's this secret about his age, which in a way could be classified as a deal breaker for her in relationships because she had told him before that had a conversation over the weekend last week that she cannot date a guy younger than her the most she can do is someone that is the same age as her or someone that is older the oldest person she can date is at least 45. so they had had that conversation and she had asked him time like over and over and over again during that conversation i remember in the head of house condo that is there anything else that he would like to tell her and tofa said no she had specifically asked him about his age because, of course, her friend Ben had been peddling, you know, rumors around that Otofa lied about his age to Anita. Tofa is lying. Tofa is lying. And he had also had a conversation with Anita, you know, which raised the suspicion about Ben's true intentions towards Anita. If he was just platonic or if he was also crushing on Anita and was trying to eliminate Tofa from that equation so that he could take over Tofa's spot in Anita's life. So Anita had specifically asked Tofa over and over and over and over again that what is your age? What is your age? Are you telling me the truth? And Tofa had said they were both of the same age. Like he had blatantly lied to her. Now, not with ill intentions, of course, but obviously because of the fear of losing her. <laughs> and then lo and behold, last night, whilst everything was going so smoothly, whilst Anita was forgetting her emotions, her sadness about the fact that she felt like she had not really bonded with, you know, most of the housemates. While she was explaining her feelings of loneliness in the house, whilst Tofa was even advising her on how to begin, you know, developing that closeness with other housemates, giving her the steps on how to achieve it. Whilst Anita was feeling so grateful and relieved that oh finally she's got somebody that truly understands her someone that gets her struggle so far decided to you know put himself out of that misery by telling anita now we know how tofa normally beats around the bush how he would travel around 20 different countries before arriving at his destination in conversations in other words beating around the bush we know how tofa does that well he did until he finally hit the nail on the head and informed Anita, told her the truth. <laughs> and just as expected, Anita almost lost it. But thank God for class, hmm? like for our classiness. Thank God <laughs> for our demureness. <laughs> thank God for our mindfulness. Listen, Anita probably would have reacted more than that. She was shocked. Obviously, she was shocked. She was shocked. She was speechless. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> by the time she asked him again, how old are you? So first said he was 26. And we know that Anita is 29. I think next year she's going to be 30. Anita was shocked. She was so shocked. 
And then she kept on asking me again, is there anything else? He said, no, because ladies and gentlemen, you can't blame the girl. I mean, she would think that, okay, maybe there are more secrets. She couldn't take it anymore. And then she walked out. She left him in the garden. They were in the garden when they had that conversation. She left him, went to the um, restroom to use the, the, the toilet. And then, I mean, guys, you could tell that she was holding back tears. She was weak. She was confused. She was tired. And then she came down the stairs again. She went to the kitchen. She went to chill on the, um, on the sofa in the, in the kitchen. And that was where she ended up shedding some tears. She was overwhelmed. She was so upset. You could tell that she was just grumbling and mumbling like she was so upset. And see, at this point, we need to actually applaud Anita for her self-control. Because it could have gone south. The situation could have been worse, you know. Some other persons could have thrown tantrums, you know, shouted at him, embarrassed him, insulted him. It could have turned out to be a huge fight. But then she kept her cool. Because whilst we we're having that conversation, Ozzy and um, what's her name now? Onyeka, they were having their own reconciliation conversation, which was taking forever. And by the way, they have settled their differences, yes. But back to Anita and Tofer now. It could have gone worse. It could have gone south. But she did not want to embarrass him. And you could tell that she actually really cared about his, you know, reputation in that house. So she had kept her cool. So when she was crying in the kitchen, Tofa was equally crying, like he was shedding tears in the, what's that place called now? In the dressing area. Guys, it was so sad. It was so emotional. I felt like going to console both of them. But then there was Femi, you know. Femi tried getting Tofa to share with him what was making him sad, but Tofa did not want to share. Um, but he told Femi to go and show her that um, Anita was okay. And then Femi went, Anita was looking for a new bed space and was asking, you know. And that was where Ben came into the picture. You know, you could tell that that one for him, it was mission accomplished. It looked like he was relieved that yes he had done his work now I'm, i wasn't really sure if he knew specifically what the issue was but for him he was already quickly directing out who oh, there's a bed space here there's a bed space there and i was just looking at ben <laughs> and guys here yeah, see here yeah. ah! in any ways let me just leave it but ladies and gentlemen it was really sad because later on anita had gone to bed and Tofa had gone to try consoling her tried talking to her and she chased him away like she shoosed him away like he should go away don't touch me go away and it was just really sad guys i mean we're so used to seeing these two people cuddle at night you know kiss have conversations share their daily affirmations their wings of the past day and the present day you know we're so used to seeing them act like a real couple in the house so seeing them separated like that guys was really heartbreaking but frankly speaking i'm kind of relieved that Tofa finally told the truth to Anita because she deserved to know the truth. She deserved to know. Now, I understand that feeling of betrayal. You know, she probably was feeling like, oh, this guy took her for a fool. This guy used her. This guy made her look like a fool on live TV. I totally understand. But the fact still remains that now she knows. So it is now up to her to decide if she wants to continue in that ship with Tofa or not. Because guys despite the lie regardless anita likes tofa a lot they are so comfortable with each other they complement each other so much like guys within that whole ship you can see a bond they like each other so much here's the reason why when anita was upset with tofa she still went back to him Hence the reason why whenever they have issues and Tofa goes back to apologize, she will still accept him. Now, I don't know if it's all a game for her or for him, but you can see genuineness right there. Yeah. But on the flip side, I'm also pretty much concerned about Suj and Nelly's relationship because guys, the thing with this pairs is, it's like, is that it's like a chain reaction. Whatever happens between Suj and Nelly automatically has a way of affecting Nelita's relationship or rather, um, Anita's relationship with Tofa. So it's got me worried already that hmm, this one that Anita is upset with Tofa. I hope Nelly is not going to transfer aggression to Suj as well because that one Suj himself has suffered. Every day, it's like every two days, Nelly is always looking for something to, you know, blame him for or to complain about. So 
guys this weekend <laughs> it's looking like it's going to be hectic for the aces pair they're going to be on on the serious fire from an elite pair but i cannot wait to see what the morning after would look like between these two people but in the meantime i would love to hear your thoughts about it all are you glad that Tufa finally said his truth or are you upset would you have rather he kept the secret till the end of the season because after all it's a game right so ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day bye